We're going to do one that uh, the producers like to see how I'm going to produce. So it's Follow <laughs> Run Show Fatu Kasi. And uh, <laughs> I got that right. That's the, that's the amazing <laughs> part of it. Um, so, again, uh, from the Jets, uh, interior guy, they're saying three years, 8.33 million, 15 million guaranteed. Uh, nice number of pressures. When you look at it, it's an area that you could see the Browns going with him in. Yeah, and this was an interesting name when I was kind of doing some digging around for a defensive lineman that kind of stuck out. This was a this was an interesting under the radar name that really came up. Then you look at his grades on Pro Football Focus, um, you know, 2019, 2020, putting up run defense grades in the 80s, and that's absolutely sensational. And I think that's what something the Browns could really use a defensive tackle is a guy who can, you know, be just a run stuff, right? I don't know. You're not going to, you may not be a true pass rush guy, but I don't know if you need Fatu Kasi to be a pass rush guy. You just need a guy who's going to be there in first and second down to stuff the run, to really free things up, take on double teams, and really free things up for everybody else. Your speedy linebackers, your defensive backs, defensive line to, to make plays in the run game. Because we saw, especially against New England, how when they took the when they took the ends out of the equation in the run game, that New England just ran wild. If you have that guy in the interior who can clog things up, like Fatu Kasi certainly can, could be a night could be a nice way to really kind of continue to reshape the reshape that defensive line to get it to continue to evolve. And I think that's one of maybe the only thing that this Browns defense is missing is that true run clogger in the middle.